Greetings everyone. So today I'm going to show you this 2023 Puma Destination 38 RLB. So it's called a destination, but I call it a park model. What that essentially means, if you're not familiar, is it's not meant to be taken down the road every weekend to different campgrounds and such. It's meant to be taken to a campground, uh, like for a seasonal spot, or if you have a lake, or something like that to park it and leave it. Reason is you have things like you see the big sliding glass doors. Uh, it's just not meant for weekly travel. It does have a lot more residential features and feel to it, which we're gonna go over together. So like I said, this is a 2023 Puma Destination 38 RLB. It is extended season, so it's not four seasons, but it is extended season. So it's got an enclosed underbelly in it. You're looking at a dry weight of 10,181 pounds, 41 feet, 10 inches long. It does sleep eight people. Uh, so I talked about the heated and enclosed underbelly. Let's see what are some other things I need to point out out here. Um, you're looking at gray tank is 65 gallons, fresh 43, black 35. It's got a six gallon water heater, 50 amp service. I do believe, yeah, as a matter of fact, I know because I can see him now. It does have the two ACs. So you've got a 15,000 BTU AC with a second 13.5,000 BTU ducted AC in this, 35,000 BTU furnace. Uh, am I missing anything else? I said sleeps eight. I think I hit everything out here. I will show you the exterior. You do have outside speakers. You have a separate entry into your bedroom. And then of course those sliding glass doors, which we will go into in just a moment. See if there's anything else on the outside that I'm missing that I should show you. Backup slash rear observation camera prepped, super easy. Pop that out, pop the camera in. You are good to go. Nice big powered awning. I didn't check the length on that and I do apologize, but as you can see, it does cover the entirety of the front of the camper. It's gonna cover both of your doors. That is a powered awning and it does have LED lights. Let's go take a look on the inside. We'll actually start at the back of this camper. So you're looking at 84 inch interior height. So nice and tall. We talk about residential right off. I want to point out that you do have that ceiling fan up there. It's right next to the AC. So that's really going to circulate the air in here. It does have floor ducted heat. I already talked about the enclosed underbelly. Uh, what else should we mention in here? Okay, so let's start back here. You have your theater seats. Those do recline. You have storage up above. Then at the back, we have a jackknife sofa that will turn into a bed. So there's some of your sleeping with some additional storage up above it. And that's all directly across from your entertainment area. So you're going to mount your TV right there. You've got your Bluetooth stereo down below that will control those inside and outside speakers. And it has a fireplace. I can't remember the BTUs on this, but I will tell you from experience that if I pan around here real quick, you will make the majority of what you see here really nice, warm, and toasty. Um, so it's great for early season, late season camping. And the best part, you are not using your AC. I already, or your, uh, your propane. <laughs> wow. It's been a day already. Uh, I blame it on Monday, but it's Wednesday. So anyway, we'll talk about the kitchen now. So you see, you've got a nice big kitchen island. You do have a split sink here, stainless steel. Actually, it's not a split sink. You've got a nice deep stainless steel sink there, detachable chef sprayer. Uh, there is storage down below your kitchen island. Your stove. Actually, see what I'm talking about? Like we're talking residential. This is a 24-inch stainless steel four burner stove so it's got that bigger size to it we talk about space you've got a nice big pantry for dried goods board games pillows blankets whatever you need stainless steel microwave again more drawer space then over here we've got our 18 cubic foot fridge freezer again residential just like what you got at home 
lots and lots of space in there. Beautiful flooring in this. They've done a very, very nice job on these models. We have our freestanding dinette. These are a huge plus. I absolutely love my dinette. We play a lot of board games and stuff there, but it's also great to set and have meals. We come back to our bunk room, which is super nice. So you have a bed up here, 300 pound rating. Then you've got a couch down here that'll also turn into a bed. They can also mount a TV in here to have some privacy and they have their own little closet. So this is great for grandkids, family members that want to visit because it gives privacy. It's their own space. That top bed will fold up, by the way. I guess I should mention that. Um, I'm thinking like myself, I have a 26-year-old son. If him and his wife want to come and hang out at the campground, it's a nice little space for them. But also great for grandkids or kiddos. As we make our way down the hall, as you can see, that big sliding glass door gives lots of natural light in here. We're going to come to another closet. So this is a great broom closet. Hang your jackets, your coats, your dog leashes, all that kind of stuff in there. Working our way back, we're going to come to our bathroom. So we've got a big bathroom in here. Toilet, of course. As you can see, a lot of cabinetry for your toiletries and such. A nice, big, neo-angled shower with the moonroof in there. Um, like, really big, tall shower. Sink with storage below it, medicine cabinet with quite a bit of storage in there. And you'll see the pink stuff in the in the sink. That is because this unit is already winterized, which means when you pick it up, you don't have to worry about winterizing it for the year. Uh, it's already done for you. Now, if you do want to take this camper and go camping with it during our pre-prep, so before you pick up your unit, it goes through a big inspection to make sure everything works from floor to ceiling. They can, uh, I guess you'd say de-winterize or unwinterize it for you. What do you prefer, de-winterize or unwinterize? Both sound really strange to me. But anyway, they can do that for you so um, you can go camping in it. Queen size bed that does have storage underneath it. That is the screen for your sliding glass doors. Storage up above that bed, and you've got nightstands on both sides of the bed. Second AC back here in the bedroom to stay nice and cool. Huge closet. Uh, in our Puma that I had years and years ago, I had that exact same closet, and there is no problem with storage space for you and the family. And one of the big pluses in this unit is what's behind this door right here. So it's another closet, but it's also washer dryer prepped. So, you know, you can do all of your laundry here. My wife and I had the washer dryer hookup in our Puma. We did our, we had just a washer in here and then we hung the clothes off of a line off of the back bumper, but it's super nice to be able to do your own laundry there. Directly across from your bed, you do have more drawers there. And you also have a backer in the wall to put a TV if you would like to do so. Close this door off. There we go. So there you have it. Oh, I should show you price. Here we go. Here we go. So as I said, it's a 2023 Puma 30A RLB. It retails for $70,930. We have it for $44,995. So you're saving $25,935. So you're looking at a payment of $410 a month. As always, if you have any other questions or there's something else you would like to see, just please drop a comment down below. I'd be more than happy to take care of it for you. Have a fantastic day.